I'm Holly Thal, registered dietitian and farm to school specialist for the Georgia Department of Education. Georgia has a strong farm to school program that supports the communities all across our state and plays a huge role in fueling Georgia's future. We'll dig a little deeper into November's Harvest of the Month item, sweet potatoes. Speaking of digging, sweet potatoes grow underneath the ground and Georgia's hot and humid summers allow them to grow especially well in our state. They are in season in Georgia from around August through November. And while we do not grow as many sweet potatoes commercially as we once did, Georgia sweet potatoes are often featured in school meals during this time of the year. They are even many times celebrated as part of school nutrition Thanksgiving meals. Let's head to the kitchen now to talk about some great ways to enjoy Georgia sweet potatoes at home. They are inspired by school nutrition programs. Now, as we get started, remember we just have three key safety rules. Ask for permission, always wash your hands, and listen to the adult in charge. Hi, I'm Chef Asita. Did you know that November's harvest of the month is sweet potatoes? I've got some sweet potato fun facts for you. For example, sweet potato is the official vegetable of North Carolina. The official vegetable of Georgia is the sweet Vidalia onion, and we'll be using both in today's recipe as we make sweet potato pancakes. For this recipe, you'll need two cups of shredded sweet potatoes, two cups of shredded Yukon gold potatoes, a half a cup of flour, two eggs, one Vidalia onion, diced, one teaspoon each of chives, parsley, and thyme, and salt and pepper. First, you wanna crack two eggs into a small bowl and lightly beat them together. Next, you wanna add all of your ingredients to a bowl. Don't forget to season it with salt and pepper and stir to combine. The finished batter should look like this. Now we're ready to cook. Let's heat some oil in a skillet and add about one third of a cup of the batter into the skillet. Press down to form patties. Cook for four minutes on each side or until golden and crisp. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? Serve your sweet potato pancakes with a dollop of sour cream and a nice fresh herbed salad. This can work as a nutritious snack or part of a nutritious meal. Just imagine it with grilled chicken, mmm. I'm Chef Asita, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm Kelly Toon, registered dietitian and academic nutritionist for the Georgia Department of Education. Today, we have some activities that you can do at home. Some of my favorite foods are harvested in the fall, including this month's Harvest of the Month feature, sweet potatoes. Let's gather our supplies. You will need paper, red, yellow, and orange if you have it, and a pencil. Now it's time for a fall colored food game. For this activity, you can work individually or as a team. Use a red, yellow, and orange sheet of paper. You can also use any sheet of paper and label the paper red, yellow, and orange. We're gonna write the name or draw a picture of as many fruits and vegetables of that color sheet. You can time this activity to see how many you can think of in that certain amount of time. Let's get started. We have on our list for the red category. Apple. Apple and red beets. Let's see what we have on our list for the yellow category. Squash of spaghetti squash and yellow beets. How about in that orange category? Pumpkin. Pumpkin, butternut squash, and our harvest of the month feature, sweet potatoes. Be sure to try some of these fall foods at home and as part of your school meal. Thanks for all that you are doing to fuel Georgia's future.